The Paulding County Sheriff is giving one last effort to reopen the Paulding County Jail. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa visited Antwerp today to sit in on the first public information meeting about his proposed levy to fund the reopening. Kaitor is in Studio 15 with more. Sheriff Jason Lander says if the levy doesn't pass, he's going to go to the county commissioner and find out what the market's like to sell a closed down jail. Paulding County Sheriff Jason Landers has been fighting to reopen the county jail his whole time in office. But if his levy doesn't pass in November, he'll stop trying. I have no intentions today to continue to run that and, and try to force it down people. He calls Paulding County Jail the most secure storage facility in Ohio. It closed down in 2008 due to lack of support. It's like a big closet. It has a bunch of files in it, uh, and, uh, and it's disturbing to me. So I think as a taxpayer, uh, it makes me mad. As the sheriff, it's very disappointing. According to a formula based on owning a $100,000 home, county residents are currently paying about $16 a year to pay for the unused jail. The levy Landers is proposing raises the tax to about $47 to house inmates there again. Right now, they're outsourcing all their jail needs an hour away in Putnam County. Sanders calls this a waste of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Many in the community agree. And all the money right now is going out of the county. And it'd be nice to have it stay here in the county. Um, if somebody makes a mistake, gets caught for DUI, they got to go to Ottawa. Their family would have to visit them in Ottawa. They can do it right here in Paulding. They can keep them in Paulding, keep everything here local. Others are still on the fence about Landers Levy. They want more details. Some of it is the, is the money issue. Um, he's done a good. He's done his homework, and I realize too you can't. There's going to be, you got to spend the money. It's just where's the money going to go? Landers says he's going to do all he can to swing undecided voters to his side before time is up. Landers is holding three more public information meetings before the November 8th vote. In Studio 15, Kaito Pessoa, News Channel 15.